Hello. Give me a minute whilst I sort this stupid laptop out. Right, there we go. Um, I'll maybe need to look into this section 13 or something, I think it is. Stop telling me to... Bloody thing. Um, I think that's it. It's about copywriting for YouTube. You can't just basically put other people's stuff up. Or at least that's going to change. Because all this is the Hunts Post, you see. All these articles I read out the Hunts Post. I want to make sure I'm not breaking the law. Um, <laughs> I'd never do that, of course. What I should have done, of course, was set up a channel and just put like film clips and stuff up and music videos. And in three days, I would have had 200,000 subscribers. And, you know, each video would have got three million views. I didn't fucking think of that. Right, that's on top of there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll need to play this one back. <laughs> Police numbers set to increase to meet new demands on force. This is our... Police Crown Commissioner Jason Abelwhite, who is in the full knowledge of 25 years worth of theft in the public purse, committed by former Huntington District Council employees. And when I sent him the email, he said, duly noted. Okay, then. Um, it'll be increasing the number of officers in the next year, the first time the constabulary has expanded for more than a decade. Well, they cut... 200 and I think that was only about three or four years ago this was before between the police crime commissioner and the chief constable they managed to come up with if they got rid of 50 PCSOs they could have 50 extra officers took fucking months of work that did <laughs> Uh, 106 new constables. No? What's that? 105 new constables in Cambridgeshire by the end of next April. That way you can all sit outside my house and, and track all of my movements and, and watch my flatmate come and go. And then you can send more officers around to arrest me then. Great. Thrilled. Um... Although the demand for officers was increasing, it wasn't necessarily because of an increase in the level of crime. Now pay attention. <laughs> There's some comedy gold coming up. Um, I have actually read this one. Um, Mr. Abelwhite said the increase in the demand for officers wasn't always due to a rise in crime. And in some cases, police were called in to deal with vulnerable people in need of help or guidance. The main pressure of policing at the moment are demand. The main pressures of policing at the moment are demand. Did you get that? The reason they're so under pressure is because people keep fucking phoning them up and reporting things. <laughs> you fucking wankers. Why are you, you know, when you're getting attacked and stuff, why are you phoning the fucking police? You're putting fucking pressure on them. It doesn't matter that we live in a lawless fucking society. I don't ever fucking phone the police because you're putting pressure on them. That's gone out. I'll just repeat that. The main pressures of policing at the moment are demand. This is a man who earns £75,000 a year of taxpayers' cash. Um, 
But there are, suddenly, thousands of fucking elderly people have walked out of their care homes on their own have gone missing. Suddenly. Now, I would say this is since the last article, but there's been fuck all in the paper from either the police or Jason Abelwhite and absolutely fucking nothing from the Chief Constable. Um, so I don't know when this I don't know when all these people started walking out of care homes on their own and went missing. I don't know. Contact Cambridge Police. If you're that interested. <laughs> In order to respond to increasing demand, the local policing review has reduced layers of supervision from six areas to two, which increases the number of boots on the front line. Of course, this is because they're raising council tax, so they've got to say something, haven't they? Because apparently some councils can raise it by £107 a month or something, if they want to. Because as we know, councils can do what the fuck they like. They don't have to obey any law whatsoever. Not that you'd be getting any of me, but you know. Mr Abelway also spoke about how the number of crimes that are being committed may have to be investigated behind a computer screen, which may be a reason for people not seeing as many officers patrolling the streets. Well, I've covered this before. I think it's probably going on 10 years now. I haven't seen a copper on the beat in Huntingdon at all. I think maybe trying to say that all these old age pensioners who have escaped from their care homes and are wandering the streets missing now doesn't really cover the last 10 years of the non-existent police force. I may be wrong. Um, I used to see them occasionally. I, d I used to work security in Cambridge. And I used to see them occasionally then in the cars driving past. That was about it. But suddenly, we have escapees from the local care homes and suddenly the police are interested. Just as council tax is going up. How does that little coincidence grab you? <laughs> Responding to recent criticism from residents who were concerned about the number of bobbies on the beat, Mr Abelwhite said it would be impossible to deal with every incident, but by adding extra officers, council tax going up, it should help take the strain off the force. <laughs> what fucking strain? You spent two years coming round my fucking house arresting me, despite fucking no resources whatsoever, apparently. Fucking spent millions of pounds fucking conducting botched court cases with fucking manufactured evidence, ignoring all my fucking evidence. I mean, if you don't want to strain on the police force, how about you actually going to arrest people who are actually committing crimes? You fucking wankers. Like your chums down at hunting the district council who are thieves. Nasty little fucking thieves who steal from the taxpayer. What a fucking joke. The police wonder why they've got no fucking respect. It's because you're all a bunch of lying, fucking hypocritical, fucking vile, fuck-faced wankers. That's why. It's alright to break the law as long as you're mates with the chief fucking constable.
Right, guys, watch out for these OAPs roaming relentlessly, having escaped from their care homes. I'm sure Jason Abel White would like to know about it. <laughs>